Now, how is posting done? Like I said, this is the cash account. So this is the balance of cash. This is the bank account. This is the balance of bank. In a trial balance, you have cash balance 5,500, bank balance 5,000. 5, Discount account, we had said, is only total. So we know we have a total of 200 discount allowed. Discount allowed. The discount column on the debit side represents discount allowed. And the discount column on the credit side represents discount received. And that total is 100. Now, while we have the cash account here, while we have the bank account here, we do not have, we need to post these, the effect of all this to the capital account, to Shyam's account, to purchases account, to Rahim account, to discount allowed and to discount received. How is this done? This is from the debit side of the cash book. When we post, we post it to the credit side of the corresponding account. For example, when we come to the cash book, we have here capital. So we go to the ledger, see the capital account and capital account will have a debit and a credit side. So how do you post? When we post from the debit, we come to the credit side of the capital and we'll write here buy is this on account of cash or bank cash so we write here buy cash 10,000 similarly if you take Shyam's account debit side therefore we come to the credit side cash account has been debited therefore Shyam's account will be credited and what do we write here this is on account of bank so we are going to write here buy bank. But buy bank is 2000. There is another effect 200. So we write here buy discount 200. Just like we have posted to the credit of the corresponding accounts from the debit side of the cash book. Similarly, when we go to the credit side of the cash book and post, we will post it to the debit side of the respective accounts respective accounts to take one example we can take Rahim's account since it has a discount to Rahim's account if we take this Rahim's account cash book credit side so we come to the debit side of Rahim's and we say to is this received on account of cash or bank cash so to cash what is the amount amount is 500 to discount discount received this is another 100 the total of the discount if you have a discount allowed sometimes they have a discount allowed and a discount received others have one discount account discount received is posted to the credit side discount allowed is posted to the debit side but assuming we have two accounts here discount allowed is 200 so we say two sundries two sundries as per cash book how much 200 this is the total this is the total similarly if we make a discount received account We say buy sundries as per cash book. What is the total here? It's only 100. So we've got a cash account, we've got a bank account, we've got a discount allowed account, we've got a discount received account and the capital account, Sham account, Rahim account, all the accounts which are here have to be posted. From the debit side, we will post to the credit of the account. From the credit side of the cash book, from the credit side of the cash book, we will post to the debit of the respective accounts. Let us just summarize this effects of posting. The balance in the cash column is nothing but representative of the cash account. So the balance in the cash column, we had 5,500, that is the balance of cash account. 
As far as the bank is concerned, the balance in the bank column is nothing but the balance of bank account. Bank account balance is represented by the bank column in the cash book, by the balance in the bank column of the cash book. So the cash account is taken care of, bank account is taken care of. We also have a discount allowed and discount received columns, but this is not representative of the discount account. How is discount posted? Total is taken. The total of the discount column on the debit side represents discount allowed and therefore it is taken to the debit of the discount allowed account. To sundries as per cash book, taken to the debit side of discount allowed. Similarly, the total of the discount column on the credit side, how do we post that? That's discount receipt. We open an account in the ledger, discount receipt, and we take it to the credit side of the discount received account. By sundries, as per cash book, we take the total. And finally, we post to the respective ledger accounts. How do we do that? From debit side, yeah, from debit side of cash book, when we post, we post it to the credit of accounts. Post to credit of respective accounts. So on the debit side, if you got as per the cash book on account of capital, we open the capital account and on the credit side of capital, we write buy cash so much. This is one. And for the debit side, what do we do? I'm sorry, from the credit side, what do we do? From the credit side of cash book, how do we post? We post correspondingly, we post to the debit of the account. In addition to this, another kind of entry was a transaction which involves both cash and bank. If it involves both cash and bank, then it is a contra entry because it will be entered in both sides on both sides of the same account. The moment we see contra, which is represented by a C in the ledger folio column, what would it indicate? It indicates that the same amount is also reflected on the other side. So when cash is withdrawn from bank, on the debit side, in the cash column would have gone up on account of two bank and on the credit side, we would say buy cash and enter the amount in the bank since money was withdrawn from the bank. Also, since the cash book is a book of original entry, these transactions are supported with a narration. Supported cash book is supported with a narration. The transactions, each entry is supported with a narration. 